Hey guys, welcome to another Anon Gremlin video and today we are looking at the M96 Matic in Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer. So its stats are 71 damage, 450 rate of fire, 16 max clip size, 112 max ammo, 60 accuracy and 25 weight. I have no modifications on the weapon and I have no skills invested in my character that boosts the gun in any way just because I want to review it as it is straight out of the pack. So if you played Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, you're obviously uh, very aware of the Matic. It was available in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Some people absolutely loved it and some people said it was overrated. I don't know where you sit on that, maybe leave it on the co in the comments. I received the gun from my Mass Effect 3 loyalty crate and I'm not sure if that's an in thing where they do that for everybody or I just got lucky. But anyway, the gun has good DPS if shot rapidly. However, I'm not sure if its uh, fire speed is as good as it was in Mass Effect 3. Looking back on Mass Effect 3 gameplay, it did seem to fire a lot faster. In no way, however, is it a bad gun in Mass Effect Andromeda. I'd argue quite the contrary, it is a very good gun. The fact is it has very good accuracy. As you can see in the clip then, I was able to fire enemies with very little recoil even though they're a fair distance away as you can see here as well i fired bullets into this assembler and i'm literally seeing little to no recoil this is definitely the gun's main attribute and that was something that was noted in mass effect 3. its range is another sticking point for this weapon you can basically shoot enemies that are far away or literally up close to you it doesn't matter it is very versatile in that sense you can get off a lot of good shots and I think that is one of the main sticking points as well for this weapon, its accuracy and its range. It's very versatile in different situations, whether you're getting shot from afar or up close. Just like it was in Mass Effect 3, it is still an uncommon weapon, so no change has been here, so there isn't no significant upgrades or downgrades to the weapon. I would say that they have downgraded its rate of fire. It does seem to fire a little bit slower, but that is no problem. And obviously due to this lower rate of fire, it does seem to cause less damage. But as, I, as time will tell, it will probably get better with levelling up of course and if you can modify its damage or its fire rate to try and get more damage per second and make it more like it was in Mass Effect 3. I think the main thing I want to stress in regards to this review is at base level it is very much like it was in Mass Effect 3 as in it has good accuracy, very low recoil and a nice bit of range on it however it does seem to have a lower rate of fire and it does pack less of a punch. However, this will improve with levelling, so in no way should we write off the Matic too early. Personally, I enjoyed using the Matic just because of all of its attributes such as range, uh, and especially the distance that you can fire from. It's not just a close range or long range weapon, it can be very versatile. I think many people enjoy that it has returned from Mass Effect 3 multiplayer because it was so well liked on Mass Effect 3. However, I think people will kind of slate it because it isn't as damaging, it doesn't have as good a rate of fire as it did in Mass Effect 3. However, I think we should be thankful that it hasn't received a massive nerf, such as the M90 Indra, that is nowhere near as good as it was on Mass Effect 3, so I guess in this regard we have to be thankful. So that concludes this video, uh, leave a comment of whether you think this gun has been nerfed compared to what it was in Mass Effect 3, or maybe you think it's improved, that is entirely up to you, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And this video concludes my reviews in regard to the Xbox One edition of this game. I am getting it on PS4 tomorrow, that will be my proper physical copy. There is only play on Xbox One is for EA Access. And the reason for that is because I want to experience the game in 1080p on PS4, not 900p as it is on Xbox One. That sounds really petty and it is and I don't know why I did that. Xbox One is my main console and I am kind of regretting that with all the stuff that I've unlocked on the Xbox One version. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Stick around for more, there will be more in the coming days. I hope you have a nice day, I hope you have a nice week, a nice year, a nice life, all that, blah blah, like, comment, subscribe, but more importantly, peace.